They're instead gonna change their sights onto seven. Seven's taking a beating here. Wind Ranger is gonna get that kill, and this could be trouble if a power shot connects on the Ember Spirit, but they're gonna decide against it. Again, Skyrat Mage coming in in the nick of time there, turning things around. I'm thinking yeah. middle lane Zeus should be able to do fine. He's sitting at uh, 27 last hits up against the uh, Invoker who's sitting at 24. But now what's happened is because the Skyrath rotated out, it's left uh, Void with some free farm time along with Jimmy just going 1v1 versus the Void who's already getting two time locks in. There's an Ice Armor, a Living Armor and the Scorched Earth baited out there by a solo Void who's now making his way back out. Right, meanwhile, panning back to the middle lane, looks like Sky is trying to set up something on the Zeus, who's just starting to really get quite far away from the farm. It's a casual all thrown out, Crowley in a little bit of trouble. That ult actually served, uh, the Thunder God's run, sorry, serving multiple purposes, carted out the uh, rotation from Iron Legend, as days. well as forced Crowley off in almost securing a kill as well. Totally worth it. Radiant bottom I take a look at this top lane, there's this big right stack now. here and... Oh, but 835 is nowhere near to clear it up. Yeah, I, I guess it's just to disrupt the creep equilibrium once again, but again, the creep's getting stunned. Which means that the pull's not gonna be too successful. Well, a couple of creeps are gonna get denied on the side, but I think Ember's within the EXP range for it. Right, bottom lane, I am Legend, trying to get some free EXP here. Trying to get the level 6 so that he can support the Void quite efficiently with that Mystic player. Um, so Jimmy's like gonna pop he his has costume. rotated bottom, so they don't really have vision that he is there. The Doom is online, but unfortunately there's no mana to use it. There's actually a Dire Observer one that's cutting out Charlie's rotation. Jimmy trying to make a run for it, Concussive Shot connects. He's trying to get a Chrono on two heroes, he's saving him for as best as he can and then the Chrono connects, held on to it for the last minute and pops in at the most opportune moment, securing the kill on Doombringer. That was pretty legit. Right, how's the Zeus doing meanwhile? He does have the Thunder God's Wrath available once again. Um, he's sitting at level 7, almost at 8. Ingenious Archmage meanwhile, rotating up top. This rotation has not been scouted out and it's gonna connect the tornado, the EMP and then a cold snap. 7 goes down, Invoker gets the kill, thus making his rotation quite the success. But now there is an Invis Zeus that's made his way up top as well. A35 has been scouted, closer, going in. Now Bui, okay then, he's gonna try and fight through the free wave. A35 just standing his ground, doing what he can. But then Zeus reveals himself and secures the kill on top. Not gonna be fortunate in fortunate about the game because he does throw out an ice punch and connects only on the Ember Spirit, but that's a double kill for the Zeus. Manages to burst him down quite efficiently. And Doom even comes in for a free EXP. RV, they're definitely doing it here. They're, I wouldn't say that they're out of it just yet. In fact, do they have the gold Dyer's lead? No, it's still a thousand net worth lead in favor of a bleak gaming and a 1500 EXP lead going their way, but I wouldn't say that uh, OG is really falling that far behind. I mean, no, uh, RV is falling that far behind. There's an own picked up on the invoker as well, so he's definitely looking to get more active in this map. And they have yet to put the to use, so I think the they should try and look for another kill somewhere on the map. Probably at the middle lane, in fact, uh, once the Zeus's uh, Thunder God's Wrath cooldowns, they could perhaps try and score a kill on the uh, Ingenious Archmage. But it does seem like OG's been spooked a little bit. They're probably gonna wait for the Chrono Spear to come back online before making any aggressive plays. But uh, as I say tower. that, Haunter just throws down a Magnifier at the bottom lane, starts pressure out this tower with the Liquid Fire Scan as well. He should be able to get rid of this tower quite efficiently. And owing to the dual lane, this Jakira is level 6, so that's a level 3 good fire. This tower is not gonna last for too long. Meanwhile, middle lane, we're gonna see a smoke rotation. There's the Tornado Spear. Oh, what the hell? The Tornado! A little bit unwarranted there, but nonetheless, it does secure the kill. Zeus takes a fall, Crowley gets the kill, no real long loss there. Ember just a little too late to that party. Yeah, 
He does pop the ghost walk, he should be okay here. Tavu is trying to scout him out, but yeah, he's going the wrong direction. How's Wind Ranger doing at the top lane in terms of CS? Not bad at all. 43 last hits for the Wind Ranger who went down twice in this lane. With one kill added to her name, she's starting to pull back. Her net worth sitting Dyer's third, 3,500. Not bad at you all. Ember Spirit, meanwhile, 42 CS on him. In fact, Wind Ranger just managed to out CS him. Not sure if that's on the back of some neutral kills or what, but still a lot of farm for, for a Wind Ranger who seemed like she was shut down. And Crowley once again trying to wrap around here. This time they're gonna have to do it without the Chronosphere. We do see Godlike succeed back to Vince here. They silence up the Doom and they burst him down. Crowley almost goes down. Jimmy, good turnaround for the Doom but doesn't get it. Close the meanwhile, cleans up on the Jigato. Here comes the Doom because he gets the EMP off. Godlike sexy loses his mana. Closer however does get a double kill as he picks off both supports. And he's looking for more. He might even found, find Crowley here but... Crowley pops the time walk and gets away to safety. A two for one trade, RB, I think I'm ahead, right? And thanks to that, this witch doctor has finally hit that level 6 mark. Dyer's top tower is getting beat down. That could be a game changer right there, I mean, if, if they can manage to get the Witch Doctor to channel his ultimate even on a single target, that should be confirmed kills on a whole bunch of heroes. But now, another real worry factor here for RB is the fact that Invoker's levels are just going ham here. He's already at level 10, almost level 11. His Vex is just two points away from being maxed out and he's basically going to be running around the map looking for pickups by himself in just a little bit. Top lane though, Chronos is available, they're gonna go in on 7, they're gonna jump in, not popping the Chronos just yet, 7's gonna take 4, the dead wall's being channeled, Crown. gonna pop the Chronos to cancel it, and then the Misty Flare over the tree line, securing the kill, double kill for Skyrat Mage, Evil Ash just not wasting a moment. That was excellent decisions. play by Crowley. That Chronos Flare followed by that Mystic Flare was just timed to perfection. Blown to bits. Absolutely, and all the while, Ingenious Archmage just getting more trades out of this map. Not even a trade actually, this is just one way. He managed to get a tier 1 at the bottom lane. Guess what's happening to Dyer's Well, that's one tower. way to deal with the trade, living armor, silence him. Do Should be able to make a tower. bit more of an impact going forward. And Doom still Guess trying to carve that flick tower. He has jumped into the jungle. He's still pretty far out though, he needs another 700 gold for that blink dagger. Dyer's bottom tower. Yeah, I don't think I've seen him game. use the doom even once. Yep, I, I haven't seen a doom either. I'm pretty certain that uh, he was trying to use it at the bottom lane, but then he didn't manage to get it off in time. Top lane, I do see a whole the bunch Dyer of heroes converging. There's sentry water tower. lane as well. Should be trouble, there's a shackle shot that flies, doesn't connect. A35 is bottom towers getting the business. Being a bit of a nuisance. If the shackle Dyer did connect though, they could have scored tower. a kill with the Mystic Player perhaps. But all the while, again, space being created here as Ingenious Archmage gets his second tier, his second tower of this game. Top lane, meanwhile, Mystic Player was thrown down. Looks like a shackle might have just connected here onto uh, the Ember Spirit. But no real harm done for him. He survives. And once again, something is flying out to Crowley in the middle lane. Let me check what that is. That's a Mithril Casual Lama. clarity. Oh yeah, it's a Mithril Lama, my bad. Yep, I would expect him to transition this into a Maelstrom first and then a BKB. But uh, even a BKB Guess rush wouldn't be too shabby, I'd say. Okay, just, just a quick a minute. I managed Uroka. to get my... Wire tangled up under my chair. This is just horrible. Give me a second, guys. Sorry about that. 
Hashtag production value. <laughs> Now let's take a look at the invoker. He does have two oblivion staffs and he's around 50 gold away from his office. Yeah, this invoker is just completely beefed oh, top up. Lane, they do stop initiate on the tree and I think shackle shot followed by the mystic player. There's no way he's getting out of that one. Unfortunately, tower. I missed that you kill on the camera, but it is going to transition into a tier 1 tower five. with liquid fire. This should be a very comfortable pick up on this tower. There's already a four star pick up on the A35's wind range. Everything just seems to be going according to plan for big gaming right now. Dyer's top tower. Item progression Dyer's on the side of RV, tower. there's Go. none really. I mean, Tavoy does have his perseverance up and running with the drums in the phase boost, but he's not really getting that ability. He's not getting those opportunities to force in uh, team fights and create. Not trying to buckle down for the really late game here. I would not have expected him to go for the Trouble brew in a radiance bottom tower. Man, I really feel like RV are giving up way too much right now. One, Trading a tier one and a tier two for a tier one at the bottom lane just doesn't seem worth right it right now. No they even got to pop their fortification for this one, and it's gonna leave them with just one armor tower after this goes down. Heck, OG not even gonna let this tower go for free. They do rotate in. Oh, they're gonna get the kill even on top of the spirit. The ingenious Archmage will take a fall. Zeus is gonna throw down the Archmage. He's really popping a panic smoke in the play as Godlike Sexy gets himself a double kill on the Witch Doctor. So they end up trading 2 for 1 but they do get a tier 2 Trouble at the top lane, the gold swing is about 1100 gold going in favor of RV, not including the tower game. Top lane, bottom lane though, Void's here to clean up the mess, pops the mask of madness, jumps in Somebody's on Jimmy cooking. and gets the kill without using any mana whatsoever and then throws down a casual chronosphere on them trees. Oh that was just unfortunate RNG, 3 hits in and not a single bash. Yeah, but then again, the RNG worked in his favor versus Doom, so tomato tomorrow. I'd say, tit for tat, actually. DD rune on the Wind Ranger, meanwhile. Possible solo kill here. Never mind, Ember Spirit just backing away. But this is Invoker's time to shine. Almost Max Vex walking around under cover of the Ghost Walk. There's no tier 2 tower to scout out his movements even. Ember Spirit, however, gonna lash on Haunter. The searing chain is not connecting. He does manage to juke through the fog and this should be Ember Spirit. There's the Ice Path silence. EMP, Gold Snap. EMP does not connect the drums, adding that I bit of movement money. speed for Thabui to get away. I think a slight misplay there. He could have gotten the kill on the Jakiro and made it out comfortably, but he did miss that slight chain combo. I mean, well, but again, gaming half of the smoke, they are moving into the jungle. It's not willing to let up on the pressure here. They're moving towards the top lane, there is a Radiant Observer Ward that's cut out the Ember Spirit farming. They still have full vision of him and with the Orchid Silence along with the Ancient Seed Silence, a little risk of coordinated there. Even the Mystic player missing, but they still managed to score the kill at the end of it all. Another fairly crucial pick up, I mean, Ember Spirit, his score now is sitting at 1, 2 and 2. His last hit's not the best, he's sitting at 82, not too bad either, but he's definitely falling behind in terms of farm right now. Counter smoke by RB though at the bottom lane. They want to get a kill on this void by the looks of it. Seven. Oh, he doesn't have a point in the nature's guy. This is gonna be revealed, and then they're even gonna Radiant pop this Zeus out as void just right time now. walks away. Doom nowhere in the vicinity to get the ultimate off. Another bullet has been dodged. The ultimate has been baited, and a smoke being put to no good use from RB. This is exactly where you need a blink Trouble dagger on the dude, but he does have 2300 gold in the bank, so I think he's gonna pick it up right about now. There we go. At the very least, they're gonna get a tier 1 it tower at the bottom lane, the gold does get split as Zeus unable the to die, get the last hit. I, in the top tower. I don't know man, well, if, if you're put in RV shoes now, how do you come back from this? The only way I see it is if they, if they actually manage to take the fight to OG on their terms. It's not like OG are really grouped up either, and I mean I'm sure they don't know this because OG has a lot of 
very offensive walls placed down in the jungle. So they're gonna spot every movement from RB, but they've gotta make a desperate play here. They have to make sure they're getting pickoffs and finding more space to farm up right now. I think RB aren't moving well enough to be able to put their skills to good use. I mean, there's a casual doom thrown out here and there. There's a Zeus ulti to clean things up, but none of it is really being coupled with the overgrowth and the witch and the death ward that's being put to good use. And it seems that every time they try to push down the tower, OG just does not respond the way they want them to. In fact, they've just gone and taken down a whole bunch of other towers. Now, with RB left with just one tower at the middle lane, they should probably try and fight and fade it. Uh, boy, almost getting caught there. Not the shackle, of course, not connecting there. There's no way near the tree line. But yeah, so the point I was trying to make is RB should probably consider just barreling down the middle lane now. Maybe trying to force a fight somewhere in this area here. Uh, under the tier 1 tower of OG. With the Doom, I think they could make a successful move, but passivity is definitely not going to help them right now. And I think it's high time they start, you know, funneling all that farm Witch Doctor's way. It's 21 minutes into the game and he hasn't even begun that sector. Huh? Looks like they want to try and find a pick off on Ingenious Arc Mage, but do they have any form of detection here? Apart from the Zeus Bowl, they don't. That's four in a row. Bottom lane though, Chronos here expected to secure a kill on the Doom and then the Death Ward thrown out. Thrown out. Not gonna connect on anybody. Zeus gonna pop uh, Thunder God's Wrath here. They might just get the kill on Void though. Void deciding to turn around. He can't really oversee his life from here. There's gonna be a casual tornado flying through. But then Void time walks away and gets out. You can see Iron Legend has a take a fall. So it does end up being a one for one trade. Still worth it in favor of a bleak gaming. Getting a kill on the Doom while expending their uh, Skyrat Mage's life. I think Ember Spirit is panicking a bit. Did you see what he did there? No, I actually missed it. I mean. I don't even know how to say it. He casually throws down a remnant to catch a hero that he's chasing. Then the hero dodges that remnant. He jumps to the remnant, pops the chains that obviously miss. Then he slides a few trees. Then he pops the flame guard and gives chase. <laughs> uh, let's, let's give him the benefit of the doubt, man. Could have been a few misclicks here and there. Anyway, Witch Doctor looks like they are giving him some space to farm now. He's trying to build towards what I would assume is an Aggron Scepter now. OG meanwhile, looks like they've been finally sent back to their side of the map. Minus uh, Ingenious Archmage of course, who's doing as he pleases. He now has a 4 staff along with that Orchid and an Ode. He's not picked up any own charges by the looks of it. I mean, he threw them out on the Ember Spirit twice. And while that's been happening, Crowley has almost picked up an entire BKB. That's nasty. That is just nasty. There's his BKB. He actually has to buy it up. There's a full 5 euro smoke coming out here from RV. They're looking for a pick off, but OG's actually circled this out. Honto, I think he managed to get vision of this somehow. I'm not sure because he's playing really defensively right now. Another bullet has been successfully dodged here by Oblique Gaming. RV still on the prowl inside the enemy jungle while uh, OG just farming up their side of the map, whatever little bit they can, and sustaining through these uh, gank attacks. <laughs> Take a look at Haunter, he's really spooked. <laughs> Okay, he's gonna TP to his tier 2 tower now. This is just playing it overly cautious. But yeah, never mind that. He does have his Yule Scepter up and running now. They're moving in towards the middle lane. Crowley with the Chronosphere and the BKB available once again. They want to force a fight. The Dyer's mid now. tower could use a little help. The Genius Arc Mage, meanwhile, still trying to pressure out this top lane, making as much space as he can. Trient, meanwhile, in position for a decent overgrowth. 
It's considering I'm going in, might be able to do a good job here as well. A35 chipping away. He's going to the crowd. He's nearly overhurt. They post up crowd here. This is what's behind. He can't get away. Jimmy gets up with a jacket shot. Once this going to go down, but he genius out. Mage cleans up on the witch doctor. Throws down a meteor as well. Gives chase to seven. Seven should go down, but now he's got no more vision of him. The earth might just take him down. Don't need it, will. Double kill for Indian is Archmage, but it looks like Boom did manage to find a kill on the Jakiro. It also looks like Jakiro got a kill on the Ember Spirit, so all in all, a 3 for 1 trade and Doom was even baited out. Not worth it for RV at all, and OG probably just comes back for round 2. And in all fairness, RV Radiant did try. Bottom tower seemed better the Witch did TP in at the right time, but I think OG knows exactly what they have to do. The second Witch yeah, Doctor teleported to that tower, he was instantly silenced. I have to agree, man. This is near perfect play coming out from OG. Even though they got doomed by uh, by uh, they got doomed on the boy. Uh, there was a defensive four stuff coming out from the invoker to send Charlie a little further behind, and then an ice path horizontally cutting across, making sure that nobody could get chase. It was just perfect play to watch. Invoker, meanwhile, looking to set up a kill on Ember. Ember is overextending him. He has no side of the Invoker. He needs to be really careful. There's the Flame Guard thrown out. Maybe that's gonna give him a layer of security. But that doesn't deter Jesus Archmage from doing what he does. And nice chains coming out. Then the cold snap, but yeah, Ingenious Archmage with a little bit of a misplay there. He could just be going down there. He doesn't have the info for another couple seconds. And then he dodges the damage again. Oh man. There's the ghost dog. Ingenious Archmage is getting home. They even made out the Zeus out in that. Bro, that was actually really fast. He invoked his ghost dog and did a triple vex before casting it. It's pretty legit, man. <laughs> oh, man. This time Ember's not going anywhere. That's gonna be the EMP connecting. Even though Ember had no mana, so no real damage done on the back of that. But the TP cancelled nonetheless, that should send him packing. OG, gonna take Roshan on the back of that. Crowley already jumping into the page and going to work. Flash moving in as well. This has been scouted out though, there is a Dio Observer over here. Ah, he knows that they're doing Roshan, they might want to test it. The question is, can they? Take a look at the net, net worth graph. It's a Radiant's really, really steep graph. Could use a hand. Yep, 12,000 so 12, favor of OG, man. That's... I, I wouldn't say it's insurmountable, but it's definitely... RB is definitely running against the wind right now. They do want to contest this guy. I think they might just be able to crowd it and to paint this game. They go in favor of RB. The fight is real, the throw is real from OG. A nice shot shot to made the fight, but the witch doctor popping out the death ward as well. Looks like everybody on the side of uh, RB is sort of out of mana. The only casualty thus far was the invoker who buys back already. Jimmy's inside the rush pit. Roshan's really the one HP. There's a double damage rune on the Wind Ranger as well. It does take a bolt to the head. Godlike sexy. Post up further. Lincoln's on to. Uh... Oh my god, Jimmy, why would you do that? Why you do this, Jimmy? <laughs> Yeah, he, mid towers having technical <laughs> difficulties. <laughs> but that, yeah, that's basically gonna mean Roshan going in favor of Oblique Gaming. Crowley's back for round two as well. He did pop his BKB in that fight, but didn't manage to get the Chronosphere on. There's no Doom turn out either. I mean, I think it's more of a cautionary BKB just to make sure that he's just coming in down with that radiant <laughs> But they do get what they find, what they came for eventually. The more it does manage to get his Aegis up there. Even though it came at the cost of a death on the Skyrath and a buyback from the Invoker. Probably just overestimating their ability to take down Roshan then. But well, there is some firepower coming Dyer's out from Ember Spirit now. He does have his uh, Battle Fury up and running, which should give his physical DPS a bit of a boost. Dyer's mid tower won't last much longer. Closing, meanwhile, has a post staff up and running along with a blink dagger that should make him hard to catch. And his Aghanim Scepter does look like it's on the cards. He does have a point booster already picked up. Meanwhile, 
Loomis almost got his axe up and running, just about 200 gold. I feel like RB are definitely coming back into this. And let's have a look at what Curly is building into. He has picked up the Mayolne recipe. Meanwhile, Invoker walks straight in, doesn't connect with the EMP and the tornado. That's gonna be a little bit of a. That's it. It allows RB a little, a little bit of a window of opportunity to try and take a fight now. Seven pops the invisibility here. I am legend. He's seen this. A little outside of him. There's a gem actually up and running. On the Charlie jumps in. Pops the BKB. Well, Charlie's been hit by the gloom. He doesn't pop the BKB. He doesn't get the Tronus square up. But that's the image is being expended. He's on a mega kill streak. The buyback from here. Who's steeping right into Charlie's face. Considered popping the Tronus. But then decided against it. But I said, see, completely out of position. Will get taken down. And now they still have BKB and Tronus square available for the next fight. I thought I heard a Lincoln's way. That was yeah. A thirty five Lincoln's was on Crowley. If I'm not wrong, I'm not too sure. But nonetheless, yeah, it looks was like RBI Crowley. in a bad position. It was dispelled before the doom was thrown out, but he yeah, did have the ages then. Tornado Spear is well gonna catch the Ember Spear and then finish it up on the slide. And another double kill for Crowley. Well played there by the group gaming. Just making the mess of the whole RB. I really nails. feel like RB should have just given Radiant up the stage with towers. Dyer's mid towers. Hope the Dyer weren't partial to that mid tower. Well, they've got another 30 seconds to do some damage on the stage 3 tower. I don't think they're going to be able to take full rasses. No we got a buyback at the end, but no, there's no buybacks actually. BKB on Crowley, jumping in with the alacrity, gets another kill on the witch tower. The cards are really tumbling here for RB. That Drax is just melting. Alacrity, Liquid Fire, and Mid the Master of Madness. That's just brutal. Many Drax has had this game that is back into the fray here. They do have a Doom available as well, which is why Oblique Gaming just decides to bail. Well, 32 minutes in, the first lane of Drax's has been exposed here against Red Pipers. The game is hard for them. But I mean, you've got to remember the last fight was with an Aegis on the void. If RC, I, I feel like the most prudent move for them right now is to group up as fight, pop a smoke, and try and take a fight right now. When there's no Aegis on the void, but there is a Doom up and running, along with everything else inside of RV. You don't want to go up against OG once they get a few more items on their belt. Yeah, and it didn't take them too long to bring Crowley down either. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, Haunter walking around under cover of an invisibility room is gonna start our chip. Starts with the U, then the Alice Park, a little fire for good measure. Void comes in, gets the chrono off to Jimmy Rose, pops the stun, gets the Doom off. Charlie's gonna take a fall. The godlike going in favor of Ember Spirit. The comeback is real, perhaps, but Closer does take a fall. Why is Charlie laughing there? Because his chronosphere didn't connect on the Doom. Dyer's mid rags ain't no oh, one. Yeah, it looked like it did because the Doom was time-locked, but like a second after he popped the Chronosphere, casual hoop stomp, hoop stomp to slow things down. <laughs> he managed to get everyone on the other side of the Doombringer, but not the Doombringer himself. Mm -hmm. Not to mention the hit from the Ember Spirit also doing some good work, getting the steering chains off, and then the stun from the Doom. Throws are real, boys. Looks like Zeus did take a fall as well at the bottom lane, though. Wind Ranger actually got that kill. Perhaps with the Invoker and the Silence. What you have to remember is Oblique Gaming have sort of come back from better as well. I mean, there are games where they're on the top of things, but then casually throw it all away. Yep. This is this is actually the name that you christened them with, so Oblique Gaming. Signs of it are definitely visible yeah, here. There are no amateurs when it comes to throwing. <laughs> Lincoln's meanwhile up and running on ingenious art mage as well, so that's another layer of security versus the Doom Ringer. Oh, bye bye, closer. He's not getting away from this one. Did I hear a squeak? Man, this is just map control to the next level. There's a war on the high ground and 
They made sure that they dewatered everything around in the vicinity. Doom's out for uh, wait, well, Zeus is out for about 40 seconds, but that's still Dive not reason enough to go up on the, the high ground. I'd say. You know, it looks like Crowley's picked up an Oblivion staff, so I'm hoping this is a refresher and not an orchid. Ain't looking good for the tires mid racks. <laughs> I don't think that's an orchid. <laughs> but does he have the mana to use a refresher and the grown sphere? Dyer's top tower. Doubt it now. Some chip damage being done on the tier 3 tower at top lane, A35. The uh, adding to the prey as well. There's a Lincoln thrown down on Charlie. That's actually a double Lincoln! He's been waiting, Jimmy. Oh, the reaction time! He takes it, pops into the level, then gets hit by the Chrono and it makes a ball. 60 seconds, Doom is on the sidelines. He does have a buyback though, but Jade's gonna go down. No buyback for Jade. That's a 2 for nil Jade. Skyrath Mage is barely surviving here on the tail end of things. But again, I don't think OG can go up on the high ground after that one. That double Lincoln's bait, man. Even so, it didn't work out. Doom didn't throw his uh, Doom out on him. Yeah, the second Doom blinked in, Crowley activated his BKB. Got a first hit time lock as well. I want to mine. No, 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 no. Dyer's mid ranks. It's gone. Meanwhile, the middle range ranks is Doom go down right here. Void actually adding to the wave, pushing out the wave. But top tier 3 tower still taking some chip damage, but this is the problem. Going up against the train, if you don't finish what you started on the tower, it's gonna come back to full HP in no time. Wow, Haunter picked up a hyperstone and a chainmail. It's one rich Akira. <laughs> what is this Jakiro assault strategy we keep seeing, man? This is the second time I'm seeing them do this. But yeah, top lane, that tower once again back to fighting shape. RB. Showing signs of life once again. The gold graph are was still about 20,000 in favor of OG. The will 25,000 EXP lead to Roshan is gonna respawn in just a couple of minutes. And I don't know if it's gonna be in a few seconds or the timer gets updated once it hits that mark. But uh, yeah, what I'm trying to say is the next Roshan should be taken by Oblique Gaming. Crowley indeed is going into Which the refresher. should be off. around now. He just respawned. This Crowley is going for the refresher orb. He has picked up the Perseverance along with the Oblique. I don't know if I can agree with that. Four oh, hundred mana there. How much does it cost to use the refresher recipe? Three seventy-five. Well, as of now, he doesn't. Yeah, he doesn't have enough mana for a refresh chronosphere, oh. and even less if he decides to initiate with the time run. He's gonna realize that soon enough. I don't know if he's done the math behind this, but. It would be a very bad idea to jump in without it. You ideally build a scepter into a refresher just secondary purpose of which is to ensure that you have the mana to use that refresher buffer. Yeah, he's gonna be in a lot of trouble if he's not careful here. So I think they the kind of goofing around a bit as well. Uh, take a look at A35, he's picked up the blink dagger along with the first stuff, opting to skip the Agon scepter on the Wind Ranger. Yep, and I think in the process they essentially reduce their damage potential out. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. for it. That was the double link kids proving to be the best. And that's gonna be the first Tronus Spear. There's the second one. Looks like they do have the mana and that was gonna be down. He does have the buyback there. But he's getting cycle enough, but he's gonna be his death. He doesn't have the buyback and we're the only survivor after buying back. Not looking too healthy. There's the GG well played thrown out. RP. They're calling Dyer's it. They know that they've been beaten. Crowley is actually the team that switched his fresh to the edge trade to get the full sphere off, then switched them back to the SPL. Ah, that makes sense. 
<laughs> that is some next level calculation. Yeah, I had no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Probably was that smart. So 